Well, what I want to say is that um, it was negotiated. Mm, when you want to change uh, prisoners, there are things that you do. Probably there will be no firearms, there will be no confrontation. You sign, and I sign. We've seen it all over the world. You know, the, the life of one is of a girl out of that 110 is more important than all those, all those criminals that you see. Because that's what they are. The life of one girl. Because as a father, I can just imagine my daughter taken away for probably two weeks. Even though they said there's still one in custody yes. that has not been released. Even one. I'm just talking about one out of 110. They are, that girl is more important than thousands of such insurgents, you know. And if you, if you want to secure their release, there are certain things that you must do. You have to swallow certain things. You have to take certain things that you would not have taken in normal situations. So I think there was an agreement of Okay. No, yes, we, that, mm -hmm. we've heard the minister say yes, mm -hmm. that uh, there were negotiations yes. and several mm -hmm. other things out there are false. Mm -hmm. But do we dismiss with a wave of hand the reports that are making the rounds that even for this release, mm -hmm. that the government paid some say 5 million euros for them to be released? Any time, any, any amount of money paid. I beg your pardon, some say even 50 million euros. It does not matter. It doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter. Well, I don't understand. The, what, what, the, what life, you the life of one girl yeah, out of that 110 okay. is worth more than that. Let it's not the, the first time. Let me rephrase the question. Yes. Uh, let me understand what you mean mm. doesn't matter. Is mm. it that they paid 50 million euros mm. or that they didn't tell us or they say don't believe whatever report you hear about us paying 50 million euros? Which part doesn't These matter? These are covert operations. There are certain things you don't disclose to the public when you're dealing with this or this kind of tel delicate matter. Well, there's nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. The government will mm -hmm. not deny it. I, 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 uh, I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot <laughs> just be discussing everything in the public. I have been part of the agreement. Look, well, because to me personally, I have seen this kind of, all these things that is going on, kidnapping and all these things, you know, taking the girls as business. It's all about money. It's all about money. And we need to look is it at about, it. Is it about telling us the truth? Uh, that money was paid. This mm -hmm. is a high level diplomacy, you know, negotiations. So We've the, seen it done in Israel. We've seen it done is there all over the world. wrong in telling Nigerians ransom was paid, <laughs> even if you don't say the figure? Well, I don't know. I don't know how to talk about this. I don't know how to talk about these things, but the important thing is that the girls we have been able to get these okay. girls back. Okay. Well, you, you, why ask yourself why they are not taking boys? We'll why are they not taking the, boys? We'll come to that in a minute. Let me start talking respond. Mm. Well, you know, the, um, the, this whole Boko Haram thing, there is something looking dodgy about it. See, there was something that uh, Professor Aki and Baladi Aki and we said uh, in the, in the, it was reported in, in the Friday this day. And I remember too, but it seems we are getting ignored, you know, to these things, or peculiar circumstances. Maybe we have been having too many of them. And that was the fact that somebody, they were, somebody gave an order, an officer from nowhere that some Nigerian soldiers who are manning a security post should leave, should leave the place and they left and a short time later the Boko Haram people came passed through that place to unleash mayhem or whatever and and it, and he then said which is which is very peculiar to that has never been explained what was it that happened those young those soldiers who reported the incident were, were they lying or they were not and we are just we just take these things like that, that we take them for granted. But let me say this, right? Against the, you can 
quote and unquote, excuse the first time Boko Haram came to abduct, because that was the first time. You can say that you are taken by surprise. It was not entirely. But two or three years after that kind of experience, how do you explain the situation in which convoys of vehicles came to another girl's crew, right, to catch these girls away? Now, it's not just one car. And the, the Amnesty International report, you know, look at what it is. That it, citizens of that place, right, call both the army and the police to alert them that this, uh, this some Boko Haram deta detachment vehicles were on their way. And of course it makes sense. If I don't live in the North East, is it, is it, is it conceivable that you will see a convoy of 10 cars, for instance, moving from Ondo to Akure or to Owo. And it will it elude, you know, it will elude the, 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 the security, elude the watchfulness of the guards all the way. I mean, these are things that look a bit absurd. You see, I mean, so it's, it's, it's not clear at all, and the, and, and the, the government, the way it is being handled, it is not helping the case at all. It's getting more and more suspicious. All know? right. I interestingly, I mean, uh, both of you are in that field of communicating on the part of government to the people. You've been there. You're still there. So uh, we'll explore that part, especially about this convoy scenario, and, but that will be when we'll come back from this break in just a moment. Don't go away.